channel fam welcome back to this channel if you guys are new here smash the subscribe button down below and don't forget to hit that notification bell because we post three videos Every single <laughs> Okay guys, so the kids are in school and we told you guys we will we'll be back. Mm -hmm. And we're back better than ever. And um, better than ever. Thank you. We're partnering with Best Buy guys because we wanted to show you guys the ring and the watch we've been using. And it's been amazing with tracking our health, checking our sleep, tracking our fitness, and you know, making sure we keep it everything on track. So um, a lot of you guys noticed my personal growth. Yes. <laughs> Just kidding. Especially me. Ah, a lot of you guys want to know my workout routine, so we wanted to walk you guys through what I do. So we always get the latest and greatest things when it comes to Samsung. Mm -hmm. So this is actually called a Samsung Galaxy Watch Ultra, mm -hmm. and uh, they came with a ring, which was super cool to me, and I love it because oh, first of all, if Lucas and I weren't married. <laughs> I would have loved for you to propose to me in this ring. <laughs> like, would you marry me? All right, so we gotta get up and get the kids ready for school, but I just wanna show you guys how Rachel sleeps like a burrito. And I can't wait to see her sleep stats because I know it's gonna be crazy. She wakes up a lot at night. Okay, so right now, looks on a walk because there's no kids. Woo -woo. Okay, so I wanna show you guys how we use this on our walks. So we actually press this orange button. It's super simple now. They have this orange button right here. You press that. It says open my exercise and you click walking. It says three, two, one. And then boom, you start your walk. Our plans are if you want to join us um, to walk every day, um, not only for like health wise, but also like I feel like it'll help like with the clarity and everything. And then um, we're going to hit the gym. So I have been working a lot on my glutes. So I'm going to I want to show you guys a couple of things that I do because I know a lot of you guys were wondering what I do for my glutes. Comment below, do you um, also go on walks? I feel like going first thing in the morning would help, you know, just get us feeling, get us, get our bodies moving, get our brains working, and then we're gonna do a couple, you know, film a couple videos, mm -hmm. and then um, go hit the gym. All right, so, okay, so we just finished filming a couple videos, and it is now 1.30, so I'm about to get Lillian very soon, so we're gonna get a quick workout in. But guys, I want to show you guys because today is actually Lillian's birthday. So I was making her birthday pose and look how cute she is. I'll put a picture for her here. So make sure you guys comment down below, happy birthday Lillian and all your wishes because you guys know she loves when you guys like videos of her and comments for her and she loves reading them. So um, don't forget to comment below, happy birthday Lillian and maybe I'll have her pop on the camera later on and talk to you guys. Yeah. I can have to get her around like what two o'clock? Two forty five. Two forty five. So I'm gonna do a thirty minutes, which is great for you guys to get like a quick workout in. I'm at one that sits in a gym for like an hour. Like I go in and I go out. So let's go back. So today in the gym we were focusing mainly on glutes, but also threw in a little upper body exercises. It's been so much fun being able to work out with Rachel. Like she's seriously my best friend and we push each other all the time in the gym. We've really been able to learn about our overall health and focus on what's important thanks to the, all the insights we've been getting. Since the Galaxy Watch Ultra is keeping track of everything, we really get to focus on each other and having fun while we're getting healthy. Butterflies in my chest, heartbeat like a bird that's humming. Trust your words cause you know me best. Let's take a walk down a brick road. Click your heels and you'll be there. I want you, do you want me to? Once you hear the rhythm playing, promise you won't be complaining. I'll be here for it if it's for you. My body gets to sway and Alright, so we finished our workout, rushed out really quick, and Rachel had to go get Lillian, and I am at Josiah's school right now to pick him up. So I want to pop back on here and tell you guys how much we've been loving the Galaxy Watch Ultra and the Galaxy Ring have been game changers for us. There's so many features that they have that I didn't know I needed. Make sure you guys click the link. I'll put it in the description. I'll put it in the comments. Whenever you're getting fitted for the rings, because obviously they're different sizes for everyone. This is Rachel's right here. You can actually buy a kit to get fitted. You can go in the store and do it as well they have them but if you buy the kit right now they're gonna give you a ten dollar Best Buy gift card so it's basically free because the kit only costs ten dollars I'm gonna go get Josiah right now it's starting to rain and then we'll probably see you guys whenever we get Lillian for her birthday we're gonna go out to dinner with one of her friends and she has practice tonight so that girl stays booked she stays busy 
Um, I got a couple decorations, a little sash she's gonna wear, so. All right, so we'll see you guys in a little bit. If it's for you. Hey Arnold fam, so it's been a few days later. So we finished working out for today and I got ready. I actually redid my makeup. I went to Sephora and the lady like rematched my color. And she said I'm more of a red tone than a yellow tone. And I feel like it's been working out. And did I just say I did my new hair? No, nope, you didn't. And I got new hair so. But anyways, <laughs> I also went to a doctor's appointment today and I want to talk to you guys about that. So you want to say hi? I don't know, fam. Before I get started, <laughs> I'm just standing there. I'm trying to think of like, do I have any updates in my life? No. So I end up going to the eye doctor and I know, I don't know if you guys are like me because I feel like I have been having a lot of issues lately. And I don't want you to be like, Rachel, like what is going on? You are a walking hot mess. Cause I do feel like a walking hot mess. But anyways, there's a couple things. <laughs> I can update you guys. I have a herniation in my belly button. That's one thing I don't know if I ever told you guys. And the second thing, the new update, is that my eyes, I feel like my eyes are going bad. Like I feel like I'm going blind, not like totally, totally blind. And let me know in the comments if you guys ever experienced this as well. And my doctor's trying to figure out like, what is the cause of this? Is it because of the blood pressure thing? Is it? because of, I don't know, we don't know. But it started about a year ago and I was driving down the road and I noticed that I couldn't see the signs much anymore unless I'm like really, really close to it. I thought that was really, really strange, but the biggest thing that I'm noticing for myself and I don't, I think I complained about it to you guys is that when it comes to dark rooms, I'm having a very, very hard time processing what I see. And I noticed that I either get a headache or I'll get really dizzy. One time I was getting my hair done by my girl Minnie. I get a retwist in Lakeland and I was driving home at night and I almost crashed because the lights were coming at me and they're very, very blurry and I was seeing streaks everywhere. And I was having a really hard time like seeing the road, seeing where I am. And it was actually really, really scary. There's two types of doctors, optometry or ophthalmology. So I went to the first one. He was like, okay, you're just a little bit below blind, but I don't want to give you glasses. And I'm like, but I still can't see. Like, what is happening to me? I don't know what's happening. I'm having a very hard time processing what I'm looking at. So my doctor said, I think you need to go to an ophthalmologist. And so that's what I'm gonna call now. I'm hoping clear enough, guys, for you guys. So like, let's say Lily's doing gymnastics in her gym, and her gym, like, especially day practice at night, it gets fairly dark to me and I cannot process what I'm looking at. So I have to like film her, then I have to like look down here and then I can see it, if that makes sense. Or like if someone's showing me something, like I have to like bring it here and look at it. Does that make sense? Like I'm seeing things, but I feel like it's not as crisp and clear. You have to strain, she just has to strain her yeah. eyes to like Focus on like details of stuff. Yes. So like while we're while we're driving sometimes, like if we're both in different cars, she'll be like, okay, tell me when you can read that street sign. Right. And I'll be like, I can read it now. She's like, still can't read it. Waiting, still can't read it. Still can't read it. Now I can yeah, read yeah. it. I'm like, oh geez, yeah, that's bad. <laughs> yeah, I've been having a ton of migraines lately. And I'm pretty sure it's because of my eyes. Like I'm mm -hmm. having a really hard time focusing. Right. My eyes. Did you ask them, has anyone else experienced something like similar to that? Yeah. And like what did what did you guys do about it? What you guys do about it? Yeah. But I feel like it's like the weirdest thing. Like someone's moving. Mm -hmm. Like I'm like, like I can't focus. I can't process it. Right. Now if they move slow, I can process what I'm looking at. Right. But if it goes fast, I'm like, what just happened? Mm -hmm. And, and then also, did you tell them about the nighttime? Like you get like the like fireworks. So if yeah. there's like lights, she'll get like the like firework streaks, streaks. You know what I mean? Yeah. So. Which is, I think that's astigmatism, right? Yeah, my doctor thinks I have astigmatism. My right. twin sister, my Rebecca, you guys know Rebecca. She has astigmatism. Right. Like, please, let us know in the comments if, right. if we're saying it right. So ophthalmologists, right. what, if they look more deep into, like, processing what's happening. Okay. So they would be the one to diagnose with astigmatism. Okay. Right? I don't know. But anyway, I, I gotta we'll call out. them <laughs> because it's irritating yeah. every single day. I have issues with my eyes every day. I'm gonna call them now, schedule a time, and then hopefully it's soon and we'll all figure out. We'll all figure out together what is wrong with Rachel. 
<laughs> I guarantee there's someone out there that's like experienced the same thing and they'd be like, uh, I went through all this, it's this. And then we're gonna go to the doctor and they're gonna be like, it's this. And you're gonna be like, I knew it. That's why I like you guys because a lot of times, like, you guys help us like figure out what's happening. Right. And just you guys could figure out and help yeah. me know what's wrong with my eyes. Versus like Googling it and they're like, you're a. Uh, yeah, <laughs> like, mm, you're or like something like that. You like, just need to go to the emergency room. You need to go to emergency right now because <laughs> you're, you're, you're on your deathbed. You're like, <laughs> Like, I just said my vision's Bro. blurry. <laughs> so, um, yeah. So, um, um, let's call them now. To schedule or cancel appointments, press 2. For medication refills, press 3. Hey. Oh. Hey. Don't forget to eat your greens. Vegetables reduce your risk of developing cancers of the lung, colon, breast, cervix, See? esophagus. This is where my ADHD comes in, and I hate calling doctor's offices because it takes so long for them to pick up the phone, and I lose interest, and it makes me anxious waiting so long. So, to kill two birds with one stone, I'm gonna clean the bathroom while I'm waiting for them. I'm trying to be a better person. <laughs> so let's clean the bathroom while we wait for them to pick up the phone. Hello, my beautiful people. Okay, so it's been a couple days. We were on hold for like 45 minutes. Someone finally picks up the phone and they're like, oh, we close at 1 p.m. on Friday. And it was like 1.05. So she was like the after hour service where she can like take emergency calls, but she can't make appointments. Anyway, long story short, we called today. We're on the schedule. Rachel's gonna see the eye doctor in November. So, and then we'll keep you guys updated on that. Thank you guys for all your comments. Make sure you guys let us know what you think's going on with her, if you guys have experienced anything similar. And uh, yeah, we'll see you guys in the next one. Love you guys so much. Bye guys.